Chapter 13, Apology, Redemption, and Ingredients It is said that even if the warrior can't afford to buy the meal, he will proudly flaunt a toothpick, I am not a samurai, I am a high school student, not even in the Edo period. Nevertheless, I would like to live in such a noble way. Even I, whose life is closed off from the rest of the world, have that kind of yearning. I'm going to banish the Bantanrin. Translators note, Bantamrin is a type of religion but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, it's now lunchtime. I'm standing in the hallway in front of the classroom. In front of me, the student council president and vice president are on their knees. What is this situation? Yukito Kokono, I'm really sorry. Please forgive us. Kido said. I'm sorry, Kokono Kuen. Mikumo said. Needless to say, the classroom had a living atmosphere, but not anymore. The students walking down the hallway stopped and looked at the situation from a distance. They were gathering attention like an idol. No, these people are crazy. Are you a samurai? When did I become a daimyo? Well, I guess I have to do my job. Translators note, daimyo means a great lord or a higher superiority. Give me your head. Just kidding. You are attracting attention, so please stand up. Yukito said. I want to sincerely apologize for hurting you. Kido said. The, thank you for trying to help me. Mikumo said. Didn't I say that I was done with this? Yukito said. Finally, the student president and vice president looked at each other and stood up. In the meantime, the hallways continued to grow, but the two were either blind to their surroundings or not paying any attention to them. Objectively speaking, a third-year student going to a first-year student's classroom and getting down on their knees to apologize to a student was bound to attract attention. I was on my way to becoming a star. I really want to get off this side of the road. A red light went on in my shady, lonely road. I can't let that happen. This is important to me. Kido said. You know, I'd like to thank you for everything you've done for me. Mikumo said. Please leave me alone. Yukito said. I told them as coldly as I could, since it would be a one-sided loss for me to get involved. However, the senpai's eyes were glued to me like they were in a panic. Yukito Kokono, hold me. Kido said. I was wondering if you could let me buy you a nice meal, Mikumo said. The senpais have a clear and lively tongue, don't they? You have a beautiful clear voice, and you're the student president. This school is in good hands. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. It's an escape from reality, damn it. For now, I pretend I didn't hear it. I'm the main character, so I can use this kind of technique. What? Yukito said. Kokono, it's my first time, so I want you to use this. Kido said. My technique was useless due to my lack of skill. My senpai handed me something with a hesitant look. The box was labeled 0.01 millimeters. I don't know. It looks too familiar to me. It was also in Seka's house, it was also placed in a perfect position so that it could be seen as if it was appealing. Also, isn't this rubber too thin? But if you don't want to do it, then I'll accept it. Kido said. Hey, Mitsuki. Hey, hey. Mikumo said. The vice president, Mikumo, is shaking her, but Kido doesn't move an inch. I wonder if she has strong legs and feet. Her spine is straight, and I can see that her core is well trained. It's wonderful. I don't mind doing it raw. Kido said. You're out of control, Mitsuki. Come to your senses. Mikumo said. Yumi, I am sane. Kido said. You are not sane enough. Mikumo said. By the way, it was almost time for midterm exams. 
I'm pretty confident in my academic abilities, so tests are nothing to be afraid of. It was a pleasant moment for me to finish school early. Yeah, that's right. My thoughts jumped to a completely different place. I'm going crazy listening to it. But as far as I can tell, the only thing that boys like to have is, Keto said. Wah wah wah. You Keto said. That's what the magazine said. Coco no, this is my apology. Please accept it. Keto said. This is it. She's someone I shouldn't get involved with. She's like Sekasan. A predator, a bird of prey. Senpai, if you try to embrace me with such redemptive feelings, I won't be happy. Yukito said. Hey, what? But you may indeed have a point. Kido said. That's right, Mitsuki-chan. Why don't you calm down and reconsider? Mikumo said. No, but, Koko no. Of course there is a feeling of guilt and it's the only thing I can do. Kido said. Ah, this person is hopeless. Yukito said. I tried to say something like that with a self-satisfied face, but failed. I've never done this before, but it's the only way I can get out of this situation. It's a shame for a man not to eat, but I'm not that hungry. A normal diet is enough to satisfy my hunger. I'm buying my lunch today, so if you'll excuse me. Yukito said. The smartest thing in a tight situation is to beat a retreat. I ran away from the spot. Pervy yurt. Yukito said. My screams of grief reached the end of the hallway. I had escaped from the perverted woman's hands and was fleeing to the emergency stairs. This is a place of rest and relaxation. Exhausted, I let out a sigh and sat down. For some reason, there was a guest ahead of me. It was someone I knew. A pillar of the twelve Olympian gods. Aphrodite Senpai? Yukito said. HHMMPFF, Soma said. She ignored me. She seemed to be angry. I was mentally exhausted after being tangled up with a pervert and I didn't have the energy to deal with her. Every human has a bad day or two. Even my sister has such a day about once a month. It's best not to get involved in these situations. I opened the bag of grape bread and cheese milk bread that I had bought. This time, it's the best combination. I'm Yukito Kokono, a man who never makes the same mistake. I guess it's a good thing. The food is getting better. Well, why do you ignore me and start eating? Soma said. It's a pain in the A s to tell you. Oh, in a good way. Yukito said. Didn't I tell you that by saying that doesn't mean it will be all right? Soma said. I did not hear you and beside this doesn't matter to you. Yukito said. Yes, it does. You, don't you remember what you said the last time we met? Soma said. Did I say something back then? Yukito said. You said you'd be here once or twice a week, but when I came to check on you, you weren't here at all. Soma said. I think I had said something like that. I had completely forgotten about it. The weather was bad, and I seemed to remember eating in the classroom as usual. But I'm afraid to be honest about it, so I'll cover it up. I am a man who can read the air without making a trouble, and this is what I am. I've been through a lot. I mean, Aphrodite, did you come here to see me? Yukito said. Ugh. No, of course not you know. I just come here because I want to be alone sometimes. Soma said. What a loner just like me, ha 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 ha. Yukito said. Stop it. Stop. Don't put us together. Also, there's something wrong with the name. Soma said. That's because you are a goddess. 
Yukito said. You're making things more complicated. Soma said. But I don't know your name, Yukito said. Didn't I introduce myself? You have to remember it. Soma said. Why are grapes not really grapes in grape bread? Yukito said. Listen to me. Why don't you take an interest in me? I'm pretty popular in the second grade. Soma said. Damn, you're a normie, Yukito said. Stop being so harsh. You're embarrassing me, Soma said. The lunch break was over as we chatted. In the end, I failed to ask her name. If it's not Aphrodite, it should be Athena. If it's a major name, so I can't go wrong. If you're approached by an acquaintance who either doesn't remember or forgets your name, just say Tanaka or Sato and you'll get about a 20% chance of being right. They will usually tell you their name afterwards, so it's not a problem. This is how I live my life. Yuri POV I held my head in my hands. The strange behavior of the student council president, who had apparently come into contact with my younger brother, had already become a rumor and was running around the school. I heard that she got down on her knees and apologized, but the problem was what happened after that. I have a feeling that if I let it go on like this, it will definitely lead to a complicated situation. After that, no matter how many times I questioned him, he would not open up. He had a frozen expression on his face and an unsteady gaze. He was stubbornly suppressing something and was trying to suppress something. I wondered what kind of emotion it was. I have never seen that emotion before. There were too many things to think about. A childhood friend, a classmate, and now the president of the student council, there are too many dangers in this school. Let's just bring her to our class. Classmate said. Yuri-san, what's wrong? Classmate said. Anyway, Yukito-san is your younger brother, right? What did he do to make that student council president get down on her knees? Classmate said. Is that true? I can't believe it. Classmate said. I heard that some people took pictures. I'm sure of it. Classmate said. Huh. You guys, this is not a funny story. This is serious. Classmate said. I'm going to run for student body president this year so that I can improve the school and make it a little more comfortable for him. That's all I can do, I have to do it. I wonder if he will call me one each on again someday. Such a trivial wish is the only thing that motivates me. I am not so different from Hinagi Suzurikawa and Shirori Kamashiro. No, I was aware that I was probably the one who hurt him the most. My younger brother never talked about what happened to him. I was also afraid that someone would find what happened to him in the past, so I kept it to myself. An irreparable sin. Now that I think about it, it's no wonder my brother was on his guard. When he was younger, he wanted to be spoiled. If not by his mother, then by me. But it was too late for me to realize that now. I am carrying an unforgivable sin on my shoulders. It was me who broke my brother so much that it is now too late. I am the one who ruined his life with my own hands. As I look down at my hands, I remember how they felt. I sometimes dreamt about the face I must have had at that time. I wonder what he thought. I bet he was thinking, oh, she's one of those. That must have been the look in his eyes. Since that day, my brother, who had been so close me, disappeared. The affection was gone. The bond between us as sister and brother was also gone. He probably thinks I'm a stranger. There's nothing between us. I'm sure he has no idea that I'm worried about him like this. Because I tried to kill my brother. Chapter 14, Third Year, Fuck Boy Hello, I'm a third year fuck boy. I'm Yukito Kokono, and I've been given the nickname Third Year Fuck Boy. 
Isn't that too much? What is a f asterisk asterisk k boy anyways? Is it watching porn? There are students like this even in the first year. I'm sorry, I'm not a Yokohama fan. Damn it. Translator's note, surprise it's an actual porn star or porn star since a lot go by that name. As the guy who got the third year student president and vice president to get down on their knees to become friends with me. I, Yukito Kokono, had become the most famous person in the school. The rumor has spread too far. The nickname I've been given is third year fuckboy. But let me tell you, I have never sexually threatened her. I don't even know how to use a rubber. I'm not sexually active. I keep it in my bag for being safe just in case something should happen, you know? It's true. There was no sign of the gloomy boy plan. Just walking down the corridor, I could hear people whispering about me. In this case, the meaning of the word playboy was still somewhat understandable. Being exposed to the public and being given a nickname like this would have been very damaging if it wasn't for the fact that I'm beyond steel and have the mental strength of a carmeltazite. In that sense, it's a good thing I'm still here. Translator's note, carmeltazite is actually a type of gemstone and surprisingly stronger than diamond. After school, I was shooting by myself on the basketball court in the park. I don't have any desire to play basketball anymore, but I can feel my body getting slower after being in the homecoming club. I also started running as part of my daily routine. Shooting mindlessly like this had a relaxing effect on my mind and helped me organize my thoughts. Hey, Yukito. It's been a while. Hayakushin said. Hayakushin senpai? Yuki said. I was approached from behind. There were several people gathered there. All of them were familiar faces to me. The person I called Hayakushin is not a senpai from this school. He is a member of the street basketball team that often practices on this court and is currently a university student. We had met in junior high school when we were practicing outside, and since then we had played together occasionally. Did you join the basketball team in high school? Hayakushin said. No, I'm in the homecoming club. I've been going through some stuff and I wanted to get some exercise. Yuki said. Oh, so you have time today? Let's play. Hayakushin said. Yes, sure, Yuki said. Okay. Let's split into two teams. Yukito, you're in that one. Hayakushin said. Yes, sir. Yuki said. It's been a long time since we've played against each other, and I feel a little excited. I feel like I've forgotten these feelings for a long time now. In physical education classes, the more experienced students are forced to hold back in any sport. It is surprisingly rare to have the opportunity to go head-to-head -head with an opponent. It's still fun. Yes, this feeling was fun. I was somewhat glad that I still had that feeling. Well, Yuri. I'm sorry you had to come all this way. Kido said. What the hell does a senpai, who ruined my brother's school life, want? Yuri said. Again and again, I was careless. But I didn't know it would spread like this. I'm sure he got a lot of attention. Kido said. Oh, it's only natural to say something like that in public. Suzurikawa said. Calm down, Suzurikawa-san. Sensei said. This is the student council room. There was no student council work to be done here. In the student council room, a meeting of Yukito was about to take place. Fujishiro was there as an advisor. However, it was not a friendly atmosphere. Rather, the air was somewhat tense and uncomfortable. The reason why I've arranged this meeting today is because I have something to ask you, Yuri. I have nothing to say. Yuri said. Don't be so hard on me. I could be your sister-in-law. Kido said. 
What? Don't be ridiculous. Don't tell me you're really trying to get my brother. Yuri said. Ha 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 ha. Kido said. Answer me. Don't try to laugh it off. Yuri said. No, 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 I'm not giving you Yuki. Kamashiro said. He doesn't even belong to you. Suzurikawa said. The noise grew louder and louder. Kido turned her gaze around once and then returned it to Yuri. Yes, this is the reason why I asked you to come here. What happened to him, Yuri? Kido said. Dash. Yuri said. These words pierced Yuri's heart. But it wasn't just Yuri. You were clearly in a state of shock at the time. It's true that I hurt him stupidly. I will make sure to pay for that. He knows where. Kido said. So, Mitsuki-chan? I told you not to do that. Mikumo said. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Yumi. It's not a problem if both parties agree to it. I'm at a legal age too. We are getting off topic. I've been wondering about your attitude, Yuri. Tell me. What's going on with him? Kido said. Don't try to get involved. You and the others. Stay away from my brother. Yuri said. That's not going to happen. Yuri, please tell me. Kido said. It's not that simple, you know. Yuri said. Kido bowed deeply. Yuri was lost in thought. The parties involved are all here. But is it really okay to tell them? Normally, I shouldn't tell them. However, Yuri was also worried. She didn't know everything. There might be a pitfall or a hint in that unknown part. A hint to improve this situation. And there is even a possibility that the people involved are not the only ones in the room. But that was also a confession of sin. There's only one condition. You must all tell me everything. No secrets will be tolerated. If you try to hide anything, even a little bit, you will never be allowed near my brother again. And don't tell anyone about it. Yuri said. I will save my brother. I will not waver in my commitment to do so. Yuri started to talk. Which one would you like, Yukito? Himiyama said. I was caught off guard and preyed upon. On my way home, I accidentally ran into Masaki Himiyama, and before I knew it, I was being taken into her home. She asked me to join her with a big smile on her face, and when I tried to refuse, she gave me a very sad look. As a lady's first advocate, I had no choice. I'll have the cake over there, please. Yuki said. Foo foo. Then I will prepare it. I'm so happy to see you today. Himiyama said. Himiyama-san's house had changed since the last time I saw her. The cardboard boxes had been put away, and the interior and decor had completely changed to something more feminine. I guess that means I'm out of place here. She made me a cup of coffee along with a slice of cake. For some reason, she sat down next to me again, this time with her body right next to mine. Himiyama-san was wearing a floral perfume. I was completely convinced she was open and inviting. Is she trying to seduce me? This is the age of social distance. I'm a shady guy, and my personal space must be about three times larger than other people's, but that didn't matter to Himiyama-san. Rather, I'm in close contact with her thighs and all. I may need a PCR test right now. Himiyama-san is a completely dense woman. Translators note, PCR test is a test where they find if you have a virus slash disease, simpler version. It's boring to eat alone, isn't it? Himiyama said. Right. Yuki said. Why was she asking that question? 
Is it an invitation for me to come and play with you? Himiyama-san was not aware that she was a beautiful woman. I was sweating after a good game of basketball with the seniors, but now I was breaking out in a cold sweat. I used deodorant, but I'm worried about it at such a close distance. Excuse me, I smell like sweat. I've been exercising a bit. Yuki said. Don't worry about it, and I don't hate it. It's just a student thing. Himiyama said. She was in a great mood. Are you happy that I smell like sweat? I wonder if she has a smelling fetish. I'm on the verge of a crisis. If I don't get out of here right now, I was going to be stuck in the mud. My mom is beautiful, but Himiyama-san is also beautiful. A beautiful person will always remain beautiful. It's not fair. When my mother came to visit my class, I couldn't make eye contact with her at all because she was so beautiful. There were a lot of other parents there, but my mom was the most beautiful, no matter how much I looked at her. I was so embarrassed that I couldn't look back and just stared straight ahead at the blackboard. My mother is nice to me. Even though it wasn't my birthday or Christmas, she would buy me all kinds of things. Thanks to her, I've never wanted anything in particular. I can't help but feel the same way about Himiyama-san. Yukito Kuen, would you like to have dinner with me? Himiyama said. No, that's not a good idea. My mother made dinner already. Yuki said. Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry for asking. It's a shame. Can I ask you again some other time? Will you come then? Himiyama said. Yes, Yuki said. The answer is obviously no. But I'm Japanese, so I couldn't say no in this situation. By the way, my mom has been working from home lately, so she's been spending a lot more time at home, and she has been cooking dinner for us. Until recently, my cooking skills have been improving greatly, mainly because I've been making dinner. It's a shame that I haven't had many opportunities to show off my cooking skills these days. When I was about to leave after being unexpectedly treated to a cake, Himiyama-san looked sad and saw me off. I'm sure she's a nice person, but her sense of distance is incredibly broken. I'm sure she likes me, right? A common misconception among virgins. It's hard being a popular guy. Even though I never had girlfriend, but I will keep that to myself.